over YouTube and I haven't been able to find anything quite um, appropriate for what I'm doing here, but I'm trying to take out this ugly 1980s TV from our 1998 Winnebago Atasca RV. Yeah, um, so um, I'll show you how to do it. Well, what you've got here is this brace that's keeping you from pulling the TV out. And if you look inside, there's a hole up here, up top, right there where my pinky is, and one down here, right here at the bottom, and there's a screw in each of those. If you undo the screw from either side, there's one over here as well, then you can pop this bad boy off. And once you get this guy off, you can start to remove this ugly, ugly TV, which in our case doesn't even work. And this little metal bar that um, I've already taken out, it's kind of hard to film while I did it, it kind of holds the TV down, but you're gonna have to pull that out. Um, the best way to do it is, uh, first of all, you need to undo the bolt, which is up there in that little square. You just need to like be a little brutal with the uh, TV and push it back and Hi, do what you need to do. Hi, Scarlett. Show me. <laughs> There she is. <laughs> Future YouTuber. <laughs> Subscribe to Miss Lollipop once the channel is out. Mm. <laughs> Subscribe to 1000 Roads first. Mm, Red Wild is on Miss Lollipop, and that's my version mm. of the story. And so at that point, you tip the TV all the way forward and uh, expose years and years worth of dust. At least that's the case with ours. And what I wasn't expecting to see was, let me put on the flash here. I was not expecting to see the insulation from here. We were planning on turning this into some kind of a cabinet and the TV kind of covered all of that ugliness back there. So we're gonna be back to the drawing board there. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that now. Um, hmm, not sure. We may uh, have to put our TV there. May have to change our plans. We'll see. And that's what she looks like without the TV in there. Got a lot of wires. The amp. CD amp. And a lovely mess. With a bunch of spray foam. That is now exposed. That's great. So now I've got to figure out what we're going to do. This kind of changes everything. But good news is, hopefully I uh, saved you from a lot of trouble. Uh, if you are planning on doing this job and you had no idea that's what it looked like back there, uh, hopefully I can save you from doing a lot of unnecessary work. But this, in case you're wondering, these are the wires for the fan, which ours isn't actually working right now. I was hoping I could find something obvious, but I don't see anything yet. Probably just a fuse. And so far, still no scorpions. Thought I'd find some, glad I haven't. I have successfully run the electric all the way under here and then back here. Uh, I've put in a junction box. I split the wire that was coming out of the wall here and was going up to, uh, sorry, me, uh, up to this outlet up here. I split that wire and connected it to the new wire that I ran. So now I've got a junction box in place, splitting the electric. Um, and that should be coming down to here. I'm going to cap that off for now until I figure out what I'm going to do for a TV, but uh, for now I've got the electric run. So that'll be a nice little uh, way to run power right up to this spot. Because if you own an RV and it's anything like mine, there's just never enough electric outlets. Although it's kind of nice because you know, I've torn this out. This spaghetti up here is uh, just a whole bunch of wires. And, um, but in the back is a nice little outlet that I can use. 
all of this, I have to be honest, I really don't know much about it. The person who sold me the RV never really explained it to me. And I'm afraid a lot of this stuff is really dated anyway. Um, I don't plan on running a TV this way, but we'll see. Maybe I will use it, I'm not sure. But I want to find out what some of these wires are for. I know this is for the satellite dish. <clears throat> and this is the DC inverter. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put these back up here and we'll plan this out. But at least for now, the electric is run and it's safe and I haven't tested it yet. But I'll test it soon. Everybody. So once again, I'm, I'm working on this um, TV spot where the old TV was. And uh, I've kind of started working and getting ahead of myself and haven't been filming. So I've pulled down the, um, the cover that goes on the outside. Uh, had to do that to get the TV out and then there's this under piece here had a couple screws along the side and I was able to pull those out and I've got to get this um, little light here out as well so I marked one of them because there are two green so I want to make sure I put them back in the right spot and I recorded it so I'm going to pull these out because the problem is back here uh, the way that they ran the wire down it comes what I'm hoping to do is build a wooden cabinet all the way back to here and this kind of gets in the way so I'm gonna unplug the, the wire from under here pull it out take it down from behind and underneath if that makes sense uh, but we're gonna try to turn this area here this whole little section into like a wooden cabinet stain it um, sand it down and make it like a, I don't know what we're gonna make it but uh, we're gonna try to turn it into something usable instead of this empty TV spot because again over here is where our TV is gonna be so um, yeah, this is some of the problems. So I got to get rid of this light, got to rewire it, put it back. I'm just not necessarily rewire it, but um, re rearrange the channel for this wire here. Um, there's the, the CD amp that's here. I'm going to leave it in place, even though I haven't even really figured out what we're going to do with the, with the speakers yet. Uh, we're pretty much going to leave them in place, but we're probably not going to even use them. I, I don't even... You know, we bought this thing from a guy who really didn't show me anything. I really don't know how it's wired or how it's set up. But all I do know is that this little plug here is the input. So this one into the back of the TV that I pulled out. And then this is connected to all the speakers throughout the RV. Um, so, or at least in this living area here. So I may keep this in place so that maybe we can plug something into this. I don't know. But I'm not too worried about it. Uh, maybe like an old iPhone or something like that. That way we can play music. But um, I'm not really too worried about it. We'll probably put some Bluetooth speakers in or something. But this After a couple weekends of work, this is uh, where I'm at so far with this little TV project. We're going to turn it into a storage area for, uh, you know, like our printer and our school books because uh, we homeschool our kids. So this will be a great center for charging up their little fires and iPhones or whatever it might be. So... Um, just to show you a little bit of what we did. So, this is the old TV compartment here. It's falling apart now. Um, but I took just some thin door skin board and I cut it to fit and I built a little skeleton there. I kind of stole from the designers and uh, I saw they don't use solid, solid wood very often in uh, these RVs because it's heavy. So, um, you know, I built a little skeleton, cut some door skin, and uh, I'm planning on reusing this piece here, the, um, the frame or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we are going to paint it a different color, but that kind of holds everything in place. So we kind of have a little skeleton, some door skin, which we're going to paint white, but that's what it looks like behind. Um, we cut these to fit, which they are not square, not even close. Uh, it's hard to tell, but there's some weird angles in there. But I cut them so that they fit up nice and tidy and we're going to put uh, real like a more solid wood on the bottom and make a little shelf there as well but i want to show you how i'm going to do the roof for the you know the ceiling part of this thing let's put this back together and uh, i've measured it pretty closely so that uh, i can take some of these boards and kind of do the skeleton thing that i've been doing so I put these boards in. Uh, in this particular case, I just ripped um, a one by four, I believe, just ripped it into a couple of small pieces. And 
that will be the, the base for the roof of this little cabinet. Um, I'm going to cut more door skin and just kind of nail it right up into those so that I've got a nice solid cube in there uh, which will cover up that hideous ugly TV compartment and turn it into something useful. So um, yeah, let's get working on this little skeleton thing. We're going to use a nail gun and some of these little guys. So I've already done the first one and now I'm just going to line up the second one here. I've already got a mark so they go right in there. But I'm just using an air gun and going to pop in a nail, actually two nails. Because if you do one, this thing may flip around. So be careful, obviously, if you're doing this. Narrating in a, a video is probably not the best thing to do. But voila, like that, already nailed in. So we're going to put one also in the middle and then we'll move on to uh, finish her off. And there you go. Now we flip her and do the same thing on the other side. And now we've got ourselves a little skeleton. So I won't film this. You've got better things to do than to watch me do that. So I'll flip on to the next thing. So after a lot of banging, I was able to get a piece in place. I got to clean all this off, this front piece, all this foam that's on there. But kind of like how it looks. Nice and solid, hides the ugly foam roof. And I've got a little hole there that I've got to drill through for um, how I'm going to run the power into that. Because I don't want to seal it in too good. I'm going to run a cord around and have a, um, an adapter and a power strip in there. So everything should be able to plug up and make it simple. I've been able to encase this little compartment in wood. I took this floor from a pre-made uh, wood piece that I was able to buy from Lowe's and I stained it and had to cut it so that it would fit just in place here. So this is gonna be the floor of this cabinet. And I was also able to do a little a couple things with uh, electric. So I bought this guy from Lowe's, but I believe they sell them at Staples, Home Depot, any of those places. And they're used to cover cords or conceal cords that go through desks. So I drilled a hole into here and ran this uh, extension cord through it. Um, that way I can just kind of hide the mess. And the idea is this is going to eventually be a place to charge our devices and store them up here and out of the way. But this is just a little access panel to be able to get back there. You can see all the way down there um, are the cords as they come up and the cables. I just ran them through there. Uh, I'll probably have some kind of like an Apple TV up here to control the television and everything can run back there. But, you know, I put, put some hinges in, put a little you know, a little thing here so I can access it later if I need to. It's ugly. It's not a perfect cut. It was done very quickly and, you know, not very, not with the level of, of, uh, of care that I normally like to do, but this should all be covered up. Eventually I'm thinking about putting, you know, another level here that comes out like another floor. That way we can stack books or maybe a small printer, uh, because we homeschool our kids and we're going to need a place to keep all that stuff. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. I can always work on it later. Uh, and now we're going, to, we're going to close this thing in with the old, ugly plastic facade that was on the front. This is actually the old TV front. If you remember what it used to look like up here. And I basically took the old one and painted it white. And... You can see I had to leave a little bit of a, of a groove there. Let's try this one. I had to leave a little bit of a groove here to push it right on behind it. And you can see that. I did the same thing on this side. So it's kind of a, it's a pretty tight fit. It goes right behind and then down below. You just tap it right on in there. But as you can see, you know, it covers it up. I'll tap it in a little bit tighter there. But that painted facade now covers up the ugliness. Um, there's still a little gap there at the top. But what I've done is I've taken a piece of wood, I've traced it, and used my jigsaw to cut it out so that it's going to be pretty dang tight. It's not going to be perfect. You can see a little gap there. But um, once I tighten this all in and push it back as far as it's supposed to go, this will look a lot better. I'm going to paint it white as well. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. And then I can always put a little bit of caulk in there and no one will ever know the difference uh, if they haven't watched this video. So the little wood front piece is in place now. A uh, really simple project. But these front cabinets now are, are set up. Um, 
I painted these little pieces up here. Uh, this, uh, the antique pewter color that, that uh, I've been trying to use throughout. Uh, but these are, are in place and this area up here is, is much cleaner now. Let me show you. So I basically got rid of pretty much everything up here. Uh, I put a little uh, surge protector extension in there so I can plug some things up into this area. But most of this stuff is pretty much dead to me. I don't plan on using this for pretty much anything. Um, what is this back here? Yeah, the speakers. Yeah, I'm not using any of these speakers. Uh, just the, you know, the, the DC converter, inverter is, uh, you know, going to be used, no doubt. But I believe this is the satellite. I'm not even sure what that is. If anybody knows, I would love to hear from you. Um, when I bought this RV, I really didn't get any instruction as to what this stuff is for. So if you know... Hey, leave a comment below. And so with that, I'm going to end our video on converting our TV compartment into something useful. This is going to be our homeschool cabinet. We're not really sure what we're going to use this for, right, Penny? Right, Peaky? Yeah. <laughs> and, but it's going to be a lot better than what it used to look like with that old 1998 TV up there. So we're going to wrap this video and move on to the next project. But if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We would love to hear from you. Uh, please like this video. And uh, what else am I forgetting, Penny? Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you subscribe because then you'll see all of our new videos when they come out. And we're putting lots of new videos together as we're renovating this whole RV from top to bottom, inside to out. Right, Boo? Yeah. So I uh, hope you like this one. Please, uh, please leave some comments below. We'd love to hear from you all. And until next time, we'll see you. Bye.